here we go. We've got a sentry safe. Just one of these, uh, I mean, it's not the most basic safe, but it's a really basic safe. Um, Home Depot, 400 bucks. Um, I just barely bought it for 190 One of the reasons why, the handle's busted off. Easy enough, these handles are meant to, when they're pried, so they don't force the lock open, they're, they're meant to bust off. So I'm gonna go over how to fix that. It was open, so that's good. It was actually open with the, the locks in the out position. Um, because you can't really adjust it without, but so I removed the inside panel. It just pulled right off. There's one screw, pulled right off. Yeah, you can see the lock mechanism right here. I did loosen that bolt, but essentially the door handle just slides your bolt pins in and out. This is a more basic system. Um, more complicated locks will just have usually just another, um, no, more complicated safes will just have an, usually another pin that, that rotates this way and pushes these pins back as well. Or they'll have ones coming out this way and they'll push pins up and down to the bottom. Um, this is the lock mechanism. That's the handle mechanism that sheared off. So I'll just remove that bolt, pull it out. Um, chances are I can just weld something on. Not a big deal. You'll notice that it's just completely sheared off on the side. There's nothing there. So I gotta figure a way to reattach that to that. So I'm gonna take off the inside first. And there's just one bolt. Already loosened it. And then that just fits in there. Just pound out the middle. There we go. There we go. And yeah, we just put a drop to washer. Just a washer in between there and there. Set that aside. So to fix this unit, we just gotta figure out a way to attach this back to this. Easy enough, all I did was take this part, take my grinder and grind little notches in it. So, now it looks like this. Before, the only thing that was holding it together was just a little teeny um, piece in the middle. So now I'll just take this. This is all steel. I'll just take this, position it, and then I'll just put a tack in each one of those spots all the way around. Not overly strong, you know, but decent. So if you did pry on this extremely hard, you'd be able to break this off. There's enough leverage there, you'd be able to bust it off. But so I'll just tack that back on. Let me get up this side just a little bit. And I just want to make sure, since that has a, a, a spot out of it, I want to make sure I index this right. So that it's not off, so I don't have a crooked handle that'll always annoy me. So let me index it, and then I'll just tack weld it real fast. There we go. All tacked in. Just tacked in each one of those spots. Made sure it was clocked right. I loosely tacked it, inserted it in the safe. Made sure it was clocked right. Now I just got to put it back together. And it, it's on there good, but if somebody really pried on this handle, they'd be able to snap it, and that's what you want. So, let's just slide it back in here. There's an intermediate washer that goes between there and there. Slide this back on, put this washer on. On. We got another washer. 
and we had a bolt. Slide that down. tighter that gives you an idea there we go lock open 399 I paid 190 so I saved 209 bucks Heck of a deal for 10 minutes of work. Have a good one, guys. Bye.